All right, guys, Scott here, Pine Barren Garage. <laughs> so <clears throat> I went back and forth several times on this idea of spacing up this shroud because I was concerned that this vertical point here uh, was going to contact the tubes. But I think we're all right. I got a piece of paper here. It's really hard to tell. Uh, I slid a piece of paper in. Uh, through here and you can see it like poke through there the yellow paper so there's a clearance there so i'm okay i was going to space these up with these little washers and i did and it was nice and all but you know somebody's going to forget the washer's going to fall out if i take this thing off it's going to be crooked it's going you know and i don't think it's necessary i think this thing is going to be sitting as a one unit on rubber pads if it vibrates at all it's going to vibrate as one whole piece. I don't think this is going to move and damage that based on the bends. It's pretty well bent correctly. Uh, one thing I did have to do because, like I said earlier, it's not completely square. So if you measure from this corner to that corner and this corner to that corner, you can tell that this is a little bit off. Something's not bent right, whether it's the radiator or this shroud is bent on a little bit of an angle. The, it, it you know it's exposed here and it's tight here see that gap it grows so i had to tap this over with a hammer slightly and bent it with the pliers just to get it to go in there without fighting so it wasn't hard up against this joint and hard up against this one um that's the scratch i took care of you saw that um i think we're going to be good so i mounted it with self-tapping uh stainless steel screw no zinc screws um which don't rust as fast as straight steel, but they'll rust. And there will be electrolysis, whatever, corrosion, because there's dissimilar, dissimilar metals. So remember that. But I'm okay with that right now. I'll keep an eye on it. And down the road, eventually, um, you know, if I wanted to change it, I could. I like the fact that I have a hex nut on there instead of a stainless steel uh, Phillips head. I don't like the idea of Phillips head screws holding things together. Allen key is fine. I have some black Allen key bolts. I have all different stuff here that you can go through all day long. And you can play games like, you know, if you want to do a through bolt and a nut with a lock washer on it. I got these like, I think these are aluminum actually. You know, but that's a flat, you know, there's all sorts of hardware here. I got a million... You guys remember this? This is like a weird thing back in the day. I don't know if they still make it. It's supposed to fit any socket from that down. You push it in there anyway. A little tiki surfer. That's the deal. Championship or champion radiators. You know, I've had some ups and downs with them in the past. They've been pretty fair. If I buy it directly from a company called Leadfoot Racing. Uh, here's a, a cover for it. Lead racing uh, they've been pretty good about that uh, this i got from jegs because i bought everything all at once and i wanted to just get a savings on the shipping a um, couple hundred bucks if it leaks you know come talk to me i'll probably be pissed um, <clears throat> but i'm giving it a shot just to keep the budget down all right thanks for watching like share subscribe let me know what you think what would you do would you have been uh, all bent out of shape because it's crooked slightly, something? Or uh, would you be all right with it as long as it works? Like, I'm all about function with this car. Um, and I, you can't beat it for the price, okay? There it is. Thanks for watching.